Dude, I'm oh, Gerald is great. Granddad. Hey, we are almost <laughs> done, kids. Let's plow through this. Shit. I think you guys right. should do something like with Where your are... what probably you... charm. <laughs> what do you guys need? <laughs> we need charm. They need a whole. All right, oh. let's go to the. Let's go. Let's. We haven't wandered out in. Well, why don't you guys yet. do something fun oh. then and just keep buffing that stat so it's just stupid? Uh, I whatever. agree with that. That. Which one's fun? Assessment. Lake. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the lake. Yeah. Fine, let's go to the lake. Blah 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 blah. Let's go to the lake. Go to lake and kill the fish. You're chilling at the lake, literally, because lake water is cold. Luckily, it's still hot because the sun is shining. And hot because Damian and Louie are there. Did you like those temperature based puns? Probably not, but that's what you get for playing a comedy dating sim. <laughs> Still can't get over it. It's funny. <laughs> this flare and all my selfies, and not the cool, on purpose filter kind, the actual accidental sun kind. <sighs> It's like the sun doesn't even care about the gram. The sun! I fucking hate the sun! <laughs> we know. Oh. Well. It, it, was, it wasn't a huge deal to me. It, it... No, no, no. It is a huge deal. The sun is huge and it sucks. I want to punch the sun in the face. If you guys want to get some reference on that one, please check out the video Kyle has definitely not included here and then search for the picture of a naked Damien icon that we have. Thank you. <laughs> Nick, I like how you hit the intercom button there too. If I lean in really close to the mic I have, it's like, it's a nice microphone. Mm -hmm. So if I talk very quiet, I can do ASMR videos and talk very quietly L in your LG, ear. LG, he didn't mean the B-52s reference. He meant the Damien punching a son reference. Yes, the B-52s reference. You'll have to, uh, I mean, Daniel? go watch the B-52s. Just any, any music video they've ever done. The sun is a diabolical monstrosity intent on ruining our fun. You think it's ruining your pictures by accident? Yes. Yes, I, I do think that. Well, you are wrong, buddy. We need to show that an awful fuck brush of a gaseous <laughs> ball of fire that we can enjoy the lake without it. Um, I know this is impossible, but I'm still going to request it. Laura, you've been very quiet. Can you please say fuck brush in your Damien voice? Thank you. Also, don't click, please, Nick. Sure. If you look at Damien's mask face right there. That is a ghastly face. That is definitely a ghastly face. A poorly drawn one, but a beautiful poorly drawn no, ghastly face. That's exactly what Gen 1 ghastly face looks like. I thought yeah, you maybe. said too many teeth. Gaslit face. I was like, oh, Nick. If you didn't have the two <laughs> bottom teeth, it would be. And All right, so can I click now? Out. Yes, yeah, good. please. Oh, thank you for saying that, Laura. I really, that was a very good fuck brush. Thank you, Laura. Fuck brush. So, like, find some shade. <laughs> Laura's still saying hot husband on repeat. Uh, I haven't finished yet, Laura. There's, all, there's one more episode left. Don't spoil. I'm going to watch it after the stream. Nikki, click the button. Okay. Yes, exactly. Great plan. It's Gumball's face. <laughs> it would be nice to find some better lighting to highlight my bones without washing me out. It does look like Gumball. And wash the sun right out of the sky by showing it whose bosses is us, us in our shade. I see the gumball now too. Thank you. Yeah, it's the hand drawn stuff. It's funny. Yeah. Who isn't great at throwing shade? Time to take it to the next level. I guess. By punching the fucking sun. So Roger Bryan's any not psycho ideas? I don't think this is part of your ending, which is nice, so it's not as stressful. No. But call upon the Lord of Shadows. Because he probably has some shadows to spare. Or will a This would be a very weird conclusion to the murder mystery. Yeah. <laughs> really big. Really, hat. really big. I feel like that <laughs> one's gotta be fun, which is one yeah, of your higher definitely. stats, but Lord of Shadows sounds edgy. Like Costa. Yeah, and he's exactly. not really that bold, but I assume that's what's associated it with. I feel like the bottom or could creativity. be fun or creative. Yeah, me too. Y'all mm. want to go bottom? 
No, I think the top one. Y'all want to go top? I'm I'm ball. leaning I'm leaning towards the bottom one, which which means it's the top one. <laughs> All right. So yes. He's meta in the game. Between those two, Daniel. I mean, out of the yep. two options, those are both options. We both need no, to I turn meant the, the key two here. of them, Colin and Daniel. Do it. Boldness. Nice. It was bold. Safe. Sounds great. There's one thing I know outside brand outside branding social media and influencing it's summoning powerful dark entities Louis does their thing and before long a cloud of dark swirling shadowy smoke manifests before you clearing to reveal your new ally it's me the coach <laughs> the lord of shadows is a leggy Anthropomorphized, spiny, insectivore with jet black spikes and red streaks. LOL, JK coach. Wait, Shadow the Hedgehog? <gasps> Lord of Shadows. Sup, fuckwads. Says Shadow, taking a long drag on a cigarette and then swallowing it all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Listen, we're trying to fight the sun. The sun? Ha! That's, that bullshit is for punk-ass bitches and losers. Real punks fight Sonic the Hedgehog. Only spiky, slow babies fight the sun. I'm the coolest. <laughs> I'm not spiky, slow baby. I am spiky, slow adult. Sure you are. Shadow does a sick flip on his hoverboard, which explodes. Next time I see Sonic, I'm going to rip off his spikes, dip them in hot sauce, and then <laughs> shove them all up his butt. Come on. I invented doing that to people. Nice summoning, Louie. We're clearly going to get a lot of help from this pointy edge lord in Hover's Gates. Sounds like Costa. <laughs> yep. Just uh, saying. Accurate. Uh, top. <laughs> uh, all I wanted was enough shit to take a good picture. Oh, you want shade? I just stole a shit ton of umbrellas. I'd trade if anyone has explosives. I'm going to a birthday party later in Florida. <laughs> what kind of nerd goes swimming without at least half a kilo of gunpowder somewhere on the person? Shadow forks over the umbrellas, Demian forks over the gunpowder, and the sun forks over some shade. All four of you have a great evening splashing in the shade of the lake and talking shit about the sun and Sonic. Those Colin, did you write this? Plus two fun and plus one smart. Those are two of my favorite things to talk shit about. I'm aware. <laughs> the sun and Sonic, yeah. That I hate the sun one. and I hate So where Sonic were we going, next? Kyle? Charm Dome forever. Charm like Dome? Charm Dome. Oh. Ah! I meant to call you Chrome Dome. Referencing. You link up with Scott afterwards. She practices headbutting rocks while you give her pointers on headbutting rocks. Oh, Dan's other favorite to do. You still want it, Daniel? <clears throat> yeah. Hey, stop headbutting my rocks. Your rocks? What well, after yours? How did my forehead body get all over there, huh? <clears throat> Sorry, toots. Those rocks and that precious forehead belong to me. I have purchased Camp Spooky. <laughs> I hated that it took me till right now to realize that Scott and Dahlia basically have like interchangeable dialogue. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's a little inferior. That is the worst. What could a fiend like you possibly want with a wonderful high mortality rate summer camp like this? Nothing at all. That's why I'm demolishing Camp Spooky and replacing it with something much more evil. A suburban shopping mall. 
that may keep spooky means no classic summer camp experiences, and no summer camp experiences means no best summer ever. I won't allow it. I will defeat you in play single combat. When I'm through with you, you're broken bones or I'm broken bones. <laughs> you think mere violence can stop me? Please, if you break my bones, I'll just buy replacement bones from destitute millennials. I, I want a secret ending where the Baba Yaga and, and the rich cat person, they, they get married. I want that. And Zen Boink. And Zen Boink. Because they're both little. I they say, are both little. Boink. I just realized that. <laughs> Your Man physical boink. attacks are useless against me, Scott. For the true source of my power is capitalism itself. <laughs> capitalism has no bones. Capitalism ho! I like how you said it the first time. Thank you. Ho. All right. <laughs> I have to go run an errand real quick. Someone told me there's still a rainforest that's been burned down yet. Hasn't been burned down yet. I'll be right back with the bulldozers. No! I can't let her win. I'm allergic to letting other people win. If he's right, though, my fists are useless against him. Unless I defeat capitalism first. But how can I attack something that has no bounds? Sorry, capitalism must have a weak point. If only I knew what it was. Ooh, ooh, you have an idea. Capitalism's weak point is... Capitalism depends on the void in their souls, which it fills with consumer goods. That's its weakness. Fill in the void. Or... It's genitals! That's charm if I've ever heard it. <laughs> it's gotta be genitals. Be oh, fuck. But the top one sounds more smart. So you know what, Nick? Fuck it. If you want to pick genitals, we can Show pick me your genitals! Hey! But he said capitalism has no bones. Are you sure it has genitals? Of course it does. I think it manages to fuck the poor so hard. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Commentary. Oh, I get it. By genitals, you mean the fact that capitalism preys on our innate, innate sexual urges in order to tempt us to make purchasing decisions that are ultimately against our greater social interests. Uh, I just want to pause for a quick second. Um, and Daniel, nope. this is the only time this will ever happen. I'm going to give you a compliment. I respect Price. the bit. I respect the bit, Daniel. Uh, yeah, the commitment, the commitment has been <clears throat> staggingly overwhelming. I made up a word for that just so you could have it. Real good. Staggingly. That's not a real word. S staggeringly. No, staggingly. I made it up for Daniel. Let him have it. Okie dokie. Go on. Thus, perpetuating a cycle of consumption which empowers elite while keeping the poor destitute. He's an English major. He gets to choose what words are existent and non-existent, like stakery. You're... You're destitute. Keep clicking. You don't even know what that yeah. means. You can't even spell it. That's for sure what you meant. That is. -E then is we just need to stop that and we'll be victorious. But I used up all my think power on that one big sentence. How will we ever think smart enough to destroy capitalism's genitals? Should we recruit Joy? Vera? Perhaps sexy purple gummy bear Liam? I'm changing my Twitter handle to sexy purple gummy bear. I believe you entirely. Pseudo says all words are made up, by the way. I mean... No, you don't, you don't need that kind of competition. There's only one way to solve this. The dumbest way possible. Staggingly parable. <laughs> you mean punching the entire United States government until outlaws sexy advertising? Scott took the stupid words right out of your mouth, which is hot, because it's almost like kissing. You head to Washington, D.C. and punch the government right in the balls. Bills. Right in the bills. Temporarily putting a damper on capitalism worldwide. Worldwide. Cassies, profits have never been this low. Damn your socially responsible punching. <laughs> You win this round, summer campers. Now I have to go to the lobby. The government 
So I have to go lobby the government to undo all the good work you just did. I'll be dizzy. That will take me 24 hours at least. How could you inconvenience me like this? I like how his cigarette's exploding. It's like a burrito. I was, I was going to say a word that he might use, but it is deemed inappropriate for Twitch. That's fair. I it was, was poggers. It was going to be hunt. <laughs> you haven't this had enough poggers! Evil CEO, you hear me? This isn't over! I I'd rather hear Dan say the word cunt than the word poggers. I would never say cunt okay, to an audience. <coughs> well, it looks like that's the last we're hearing of that fight. Good work, Blask. That way, you punch the president and it's extremely attractive. I have to go to the lobby and get some treats for Sudo. I did not say it. You said it. <laughs> nice. You work on your sexy executive punch for just this reason. You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. LG, we say everything. We don't care. We have, come, at, come, we have, come at us, Twitch. We have too many people watching for um, no entertainment. We must entertain the masses by saying inappropriate words like nipple and nipple fetus. and fart. <laughs> yeah. I like fart in that accent. And Everybody choose forget. a color. Say your choice out loud to the other players before clicking. Is this one me uh, and this Dan? One? Yeah, Dan versus Nick. Yeah, well, um, also, see now, here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> the, the, this is the part where Colin dramatically dips out. Dan, it's on you. Don't don't blow it. By wow, the last, the last night. Yeah. Oof. I gotta get re I gotta get up real early for work. Respect, I'm respect. It's always good to pay it, attention but... to what you got to do, but we only have one but night I... left. You sure you can't hold it? Yeah, I'm gonna... got to yeah, do what you got to do, homie. It's a bad idea, and I, I apologize to chat. I'm glad that there are many people, but oh, Caroline's got to go, too, so don't feel too bad. I just started. I just started a new job. I can't show up. No, I'm saying that's fair. All right, it's all good. We'll, we'll cover your columnists. I'll say some bad answers. All right, friends. Good luck. Good luck. Tank in your Good luck honor. Imitating the vocal perfection I have been feeding you auditorily. You're mm. welcome, chat. You're welcome. I tried leave. to leave. I tried to get. Left. All right, I love you guys. Good night. Good night, friends. Good work. Night. Good I night, know. friends. Good I night, said, chat. I said, hey guys, know. wait, real quick before I go. Can Nobody heard what yeah. he said, but I'm gonna assume it was train because I heard one in the background. That's what I'm talking about. I said, can you hear it? And then stop talking. Good night, Colin. Follow. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Bye, buddy. Cunts. <laughs> oh, he said trains. <laughs> Drop the hard C. Nick colors. Ready to go. Thank you for hanging out. That being said, everybody chooses a color. I choose pretty princess pink. I will. A princess can choose any color that they want, but I like pretty princess pink. It's the best kind of pink. I will pick burnt amber. Burnt amber. Ember. It is the color of your energy. Fair. Based on how disturbing it would be to go to your boss house to discover that everything is pretty princess pink. I'm just saying. I mean, specifically your boss? That'd be a little weird. That'd be really funny, actually. <laughs> that'd Yo, be dude. Awesome. dude, check out Yo, all my dude. fish. They're all pink. <laughs> this bed's pink, dude. <laughs> oh, we got dude. everything you from expect discounts like... before they went out. You ever Yo, seen bananas like this before, dude? They're pink. Very rare. Very expensive. Yo, dude, the toilet water's pink. Even the Blu-rays are pink. I, I, I feel like uh, Burnt Ember would be uh, pretty pretty normal. Everything yeah, it's brown. just called the 70s. Yeah. That's fine. Go ahead, Nick. Do, 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 do. We're almost done. Yeah, the evening, yeah, is last the, night. the evening is the fastest one anyway. Oh, the evening is just we get to choose. That last last one does shouldn't even really count as a square. That's decision time. Charm, 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 charm. Oh boy, do we got a lot of that. Time to meet up with Scott. She invited you back to her tent for a bit of light Mexican professional wrestling. Ah, a little lucha before bedtime. Lucha libre to put on some hair on your chest, and then a couple's full body wax to remove said hair. Are you ready, pup? The next two hours are agonizingly painful bliss. Scott totally kicks your ass, of course. But afterwards, you watch Studio Ghibli movies and share a romantic ice bath. 
Oh, that sounds that's perfect. That's amazing. I mean, the ice bath part Richard doesn't sound Ghibli great, but that's the, just because I hate ice baths. Thanks for hanging Richard out with me. Ghibli is the ideal yeah. date. Go ahead. Oh, I would agree with that. I had a great time. I'm really glad he came to Silver Camp, too. So are you. Maybe you can even keep this party going. You ask Scott what plan she has after camp? Well, I mean, summer break has been nice, but I can't vacation from reality forever. I need to get back to being the commander of my army in EJ. Our work is never done. There are countless kingdoms left to conquer, and as hell's strongest and sexiest warlord, it's my destiny to conquer them all. Mm, well, if Scott's into conquering stuff, maybe she could try conquering the most difficult kingdom of all. <laughs> oh, you mean Ikea? I tried that, but that place is a labyrinth of Swedish furnished madness. My armies are barely escaping a sanity attack. Hey, Dan. When I get my second shot, can we can we go to Ikea? Yeah. Awesome. Hi, Mo. Thanks for redeeming Quack. Quack. You're welcome. Mo, we're playing Monster Porn Cuphead. Monster Cuphead. Cuphead no, Porn. What? No, she should, should try conquering your heart. Oh, you're flirting with me. That makes much more sense. LG, congrats on your shot. Well, yeah. I must admit, I never considered conquering your heart before. I do like you quite a bit, though. So maybe... That means you can get Nick a free donut at Krispy Kreme. Nick just got his first, and Kyle just got his second. Yeah. And I, and yep. I have to wait a long time, because I'm still recovering from the Fire Nation. He did get the Whoa. Fire Nation. Yeah, I'm fine, but I've got antibodies in me for a bit, so they don't want me to get a shot right away. Nah, better safe than sorry. Wait for it to all be gone. No, wait! Also, I'm... pseudo ask. Oh. I got the J&A &A one and done, out. baby! Oh. Lucky. Uh, I, I like Porco Rosso. I like Arietti. Howl's Moving Castle is the correct answer. I think Howl's Moving Castle away. was my favorite. I think um, Spirited Away might be my favorite, Ooh, but I do love Spirited Away. I really, really like From Up on Poppy Hill, too. There's also that really sad one we saw with the flying thingy. Nope. It was Didn't sad, exist. but it was really cute. Nope. Search oh, your feelings. You know it to be I, true. I was thinking of Grave of the Fireflies. No, that's way too sad. That made me cry like a bitch. And Laura left me alone. She had to go to work, and I was like, I'm going to watch this. And she's like, I wouldn't. And then I did, and I fucking cried. Yeah, it's it's one of those. Totoro was incredible too. Oh, I love Totoro. It's cute. Great. I like Mononoke. Mononoke. Okay, we're getting off topic. No, yeah. wait. I'm supposed to be a home commander. I can't let my feelings interfere with my work. This is real life, not Thunder Mifflin. Sweet Porco's office joke. Porco's incredible, and Totoro's great. I have a lot of kingdoms on my to conquer list. If I'm going to use the poor military resources and demon power to conquer your heart instead, I need a good reason why. I also yeah, like I the cat watch, returns. That one was cute. I would, I would watch all mm. Ghibli movies again happily. So the question was, which one is your favorite? And Dan named eight and Nick named maybe three. I really think that Spirited Probably Away. Probably Spirited Away is the one I've watched the most, but Howl's Moving pick. Castle is the prettiest. Ooh, yeah. Laura it's... said Whisper of the Heart. That's a good one, too. God damn it. That one's cute. Um, Damn, this oh. got real fast. But you really want to impress Scott. How can you convince her that conquering your heart is way more valuable than conquering any other kingdom? I think my first one I ever saw was uh, Ponyo of all of them. Nadia? But which one is your favorite, Daniel? If you're asking Daniel to make a decision, I think you know how this is going to go. I, I can't pick. I think I'm going to keep asking you until you do. I'm going to... Have I seen Porco Rosso? Yes, I have. I like that one a lot, too. I actually have a music box for Porco Rosso I got in Disney World. Laura asked that's random in the yeah it was like they were like getting rid of all their Ghibli stuff the one year I went to Disney World and I bought one for me and I bought one for a friend um and it's just a really cute one where he's just standing by the telephone and it just plays the the theme but it's all music boxy and I love music boxes they're cute that is Nick's that's, entire aesthetic yeah Marco Rosso is the one about the uh the air pirates and the yeah hunter. yeah it's super good um, anyway, right, sorry. You can get back Dr. To the history I just book. wanted to try and get an answer out of you. As I was sorry. saying. Go ahead. Dr. A history book, so it says all the great... 
Don't do a history time. book. So it says all the great commanders of history have tried and failed to conquer your heart or explain to your heart that meetgoogle.com is sharing a video. Stop sharing. Hide the conquer. Other important territories such as your kidneys and your lungs. Yeah. <laughs> also ham sandwich. <laughs> I don't know what that bottom um, one says, but. It says the bottom one says explain that your heart has strategic value to further conquer other important territories, such as your kidneys and lungs. So charm, cause heart. Well, it's all about. I mean, maybe. Yeah, you know, the top just so seems like it's top, smarts. It kind of does, and that's our lowest stat. So I'm cool with the bottom one. Nope, nope that was smarts. apparently the smart one, which is some stupid Good shit. Lord. Oh really? Hmm. I guess I didn't think of that. Mo likes Princess Mononoke, by the way, which is totally Mononoke fair, is second. fantastic. It was a great movie. Mm -hmm. To be honest, one of the most things, Conquer Shape, Monster Scout, Bone Journey, and Love Making, to name a few, I'm not necessarily the best strategist. I'm more of a go-getter than a planner. <coughs> Sorry. Luckily, that's what I have war advisors for. I'll just text one of them now and ask for strategic analysis of your heart to determine its value as a potential conquest. Oh, he just texted back. Let's see. General Aquino. It appears that Black is grossly overselling the value of his heart, and I would not advise you to conquer at this time. It may appear to be a strategic stronghold on the surface, but given Blorth's afflictions with high cholesterol, high blood pressure, irregular heartbeat, heartworms, heart beetles, curly straw shaped veins, icky blood disease, and an unpleasant odor. That icky blood disease gets every time. Every time. It is my professional opinion that seizure of Blorth's heart would be inadvisable. In fact, it would actually cause him to have a fatal seizure. Better yeah, get a dog. Fine. Well, there you have it, Flores. Thanks for the offer, but I'm gonna have to pass this time. See you around. Oof. She leaves. Shit, I, I can't stop thinking about Ghibli movies now. <laughs> Great, not only did you miss your shot with Scott, but now you're extremely stressed out about your health. What the fuck does curly straw-shaped veins mean anyway? You're not sure, but it kind of feels like they're costing you negative two fun and negative one charm. Nick, Oofers. I think I might have to agree with you and go with Spirited Away. Um... So... It's up to Daniel now where he wants to go. I don't know. Laura, what was the one with the little girl that, uh... Most of them. I know. But yeah, you've just specified like, every Ghibli movie. I'm, I'm having... I have to, like, recall a lot of it. I think she was an orphan and she got taken in by a family and she had to, like, work for them. That was Spirited Away, I'm thinking. No, 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 no. I think it was, uh... I think it was Whisper of the Heart. I think. I'm not positive. Laura would know. She watched it. I wonder where uh, Dan wants to go. I don't know. I just wanted to have a throat lozenge. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. Uh, let's go to the woods. Going to the woods? Country road. Yeah. Why not? Blah, 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 blah. That's you, baby. But all that summer fun is like ashes in your mouth. Why didn't you just put the fun in your mouth? As long as cool Josh's murder remains unsolved. You meet up with your crew to plumb the darkest depths of this grim mystery. Jerry's also there. <laughs> Ooh, the cat returns. I forgot about the cat returns. You know, Roger Bryans, you've done a fine job of casting suspicion this way and that. I respect the shade. Did I do Collins all right? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. you just need to back up from the mic a little bit. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Shade. No, it just had. It just had that like I'm eating the mic sound effect. That's yeah. All. I was pretty close. But there's one thing yet to investigate. We've yeah. there's one thing you've yet to investigate, and it's the first that that I would have. The champagne. Nice. I think I got Colin <laughs> down. Call an impression. Yeah. Yeah. Now you nailed it. Take me home. Oh shit! Sorry, I got myself sitting in an uncomfortable position. Country. The uncomfortably seductive Reaper is right. 
That bottle of Doom Perignon could be the thing that cracks this whole case wide open. Uh, Where'd you get it, Roger Bryans? Where's the junior? Duh, I'm singing at the only place irresponsible enough to sell alcohol to summer campers. Juan's Bar. That's true. Ah, uh, yes. The Bar of Juan. My campaign that machine-friendly beverages added to the menu has so far been unsuccessful. Beep. What are machine-friendly beverages? Oh, the usual. An empty glass with a barcode in it. The word beverage engraved in silicone. Robot milk. I don't like robot Ew. milk. Lord robot Trader. milk. <laughs> robot milk. Marmanda continues to list robot beverages as you all make your way over to Juan's bar. Your small magical Latino cat friend is there, as always. <gasps> is that song in there too? I yeah, Laura. Can I do it's, it? It's it's like the yes. main theme song of one of the Fallouts, and I'm pretty sure it was '76. What up, my fellow party animals? Can I? What can I get you? Bucket of vodka, snake tranquilizers, bee cocktail. i be waiting for this. Tell us where you got that bottle of Doom Perignon, or I'll murder you. That's why I'll do it, and for no other reason. I just want to pet the cat. Yo, know, shit, did somebody actually drink that stuff? I told you not to drink it. It's not for drinking. So every time I've looked at Jerry's design, the red line at the bottom of the mask, I always, like, envisioned as a tongue. I... And now I realize a, that's that That's a line? Not... Yeah. It's, like, right here? Two at the top of the mask also, yeah. I thought it was a tongue. I was, yeah, I always thought it was a tongue. It's not. Um, I, I could try. I could try Colin's voice for this if you want. You're going to be Vera, Colin? I'll attempt it. Do it up. All right. Peter. Nope. Peter. Peter. Uh, yeah, our friend Cooler just drank it. And now he's dead. Dead by murder. Six out of ten. I'll take it. No, yeah. not cool, Josh. I loved him like an unbelievably cool brother. I'll tell you everything. I got the champagne from Poppy. I saw her hiding it betwixt the roots of an old oak tree, and I figured, hey, all's fair in love and stealing, right? Yeah. Poppy? <gasps> so you knew about the Doom Perignon all along. Why didn't you say anything? Is it because this was your plan all along? Answer me, murderess. My voice slipped. Okay, for the last time, trouble. it's super weird that we keep letting Jerry call other people murderers. But yes, I did hide that bottle that Juan found. But I only had it because I took it from Demian. He brought it from he brought it to camp from hell. But the camp rules clearly prohibit drinking of any doom related beverages. I was doing him a favor. No, that's against the rules, huh? Anyway, I just remembered I have some evidence to destroy. Bye. Maybe I brought the stuff to camp because it reminded me of home and I got a little homesick. Okay? But that does not make me a murderer. But it doesn't make you not a murderer either. Or Poppy. You're both still on the hook. All we need is a motive. It's true. If either Poppy or Damien had a motive to kill Cool Josh... That bottle of doom starts to look a lot more sus. But what reason could they have? Cool Josh was the last thing between Demian and the nickname Cool Demian. Cool Josh totally had a love affair with a coven member last season. Maybe it was a crime of passion. Well, that bottom if one's that definitely charm. Reek, yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't reek of like fun versus charm. I don't know what does. Yeah. yeah. Except maybe oh, the, the top is boldness? Either way, it's it's way Either higher way, than charm. Yeah, the top one is the answer. Top? Yes. Yeah! Boosh! Oh, that's right. Demian was trying to get everyone to call him Cool Demian back at Spooky High. Question. Yes. Answer. Since Colin dipped, does that mean I win? Yeah, 100%. Yes. <laughs> you lasted. Colin, Colin lost. Yeah. That's true. He's watching right now, by the way. You know that, right? I, I understand, but I think he dipped on purpose because he just he didn't want to let the team down. I respect that. That's go. a very good team decision he made. Yep. Until Cool Josh transferred into our class via the foreign exchange program from Radical Island. Ugh. 
Now I see why I he gets mad. I do recall this. The school unanimously agreed that it would be foolish to call Demian Cool Demian when there was obviously Cool Cool Josh the Tent. Is that why you killed him, Demian? Was that spicy radio go too fragile? <laughs> I didn't kill Cool Josh, okay? Just because I'm a murderer doesn't mean I did this murder specifically. But it's true that I was furious when Cool Josh stole my <laughs> rightful nickname. Whenever I saw him, I seethed with rage and suppressed sexual attraction. But I couldn't bring myself to hate him. He was just too cool. Like that time he struck a pose. So inspiring, it cured Fred Goblin's polio. I was so inspired by Cool Josh, even I lied and told my dads we were dating, just so I could imagine how it would feel to bask in the love of the big, big heart of his. Just the face he's making when he's saying this, like, beautiful speech. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of his big heart, I heard Poppy talking with the other Coven members not too long ago about stealing it. I am loving this drama. Yeah, that's right. Wait, I was supposed to do Zoe. <laughs> they said they needed it for a spell to stop global warming or some other dumb shit like they're always doing. I am loving this drama. There, I did if, it in Zoe voice now. If anybody wanted Cool Josh dead, it's Puppy! Yay! Oh, wow. Okay, a coven of witches is talking, just talking about using someone's heart for a spell, and that automatically makes us murderers. Yeah. I mean, uh, maybe. For your information, we did discuss using Cool Josh's heart for that spell. It calls for the biggest heart in all of the land, after all. But I argued against it. I won't allow the coven to sacrifice even one innocent life to achieve our aims, because I am a hero, not a murderer. Says the person who's been calling me a murderer this whole time. You are a murderer! Ah. These rumors don't prove anything. Come back when you've got some real evidence, creep. Daniel. You definitely, I, I'm reading. Daniel. You definitely will Daniel. suck my butthole. This Daniel. isn't over. In the meantime, you collect a copy of Poppy's Big Heart Climate Change spell and file it away for later. You you're you're really quiet swords. in the microphone. Could you lean in? And plus one creativity. Ow. That's, That's a little loud, worst. but I heard you that time. I appreciate it. I literally haven't moved once this whole stream. Even when you just leaned into the microphone at that one time? I didn't lean. I'm holding It's on my head. Oh. The last day of summer is here. I was really hoping that it would try to get us to pick from the silly faces. <laughs> so we're going Dahlia, yeah? Too. Yes, sir. And I'm 90% sure you're trying to go alone, Daniel. Yes. I Otherwise, mean, you I, just have I, to date I, everyone on the cast, which is impossible. So I assume alone. I, yeah. Hopefully, we unlock new stuff for next time because let's we find out the flask ending. So you finally gather the courage to ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. A summer fling. Ah, I see now. It's a warfare tactic. My enemies will think I've lowered my guard and will try to attack me during the night. Little do they know, we'll be ready and waiting for me, or we'll be ready and waiting for them. You, me, Bothisk. We will utter, we will unleash utter mayhem and take those bastards down. Yay. I'm in. Let's Whoa. start making preparations. I was not expecting that. I also wasn't. I figured we'd win, but I but knew we wouldn't get anything twice. special. Yeah, but I, I, I thought we would have gotten our ass kicked. I guess that love potion helped. Cool. Well, you hope you can convince you to change your plans. A, uh, so it's just the date portion thing. of it. Sorry? So we didn't lose any hearts up from it. And then we gained hearts when we bought them at the shop. I guess that makes sense. So. Math. <gasps> Look at how pretty we are together. Nice. The we last day of camp, camp was camp. awesome. <laughs> Dahlia designed a sexy weightlifting regimen to do together. 
It focused a lot on strengthening those glutes and pelvis. I mean, Winky I think we have those. Roger Bryans, <clears throat> Damien, Joy, Dahlia, Milo, Aravi, Cal? No, it was none of them. What? None of them? Impossible. Then who? You point your finger at Jerry. W what? Okay, okay. I killed Cool Josh. You caught me. I knew it. You ask what sort of deep backstory connection he had to Cool Josh to explain his motives for murder. I read that as a deep baconry connection. Ooh. I like deep baconry. I'm here for deep baconry. Same. Uh, deep bacon reconnection is your band name. That's true. Oh, uh, nothing. I'm a serial killer. That's my whole shtick. I just thought killing cool Josh would be fun. <laughs> Oof. Also, I kind of wanted to get close to you. And as a murderer, I don't know that many ways of getting close to someone other than, you know, murder. <laughs> That's horrible, yet kind of flattering. Besides, wasn't it fun how cool Josh's murderer pushed all your friends to reveal those secrets? It was, as the teens say, very lol. So do you want to hang? I mean, don't most of your friend murder, slay, and kill lots of people half the time? Are we suddenly drawing the line at murdering cool Josh? He was so cool, though. It's true. No way. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wait. That's an awesome picture. And the picture. blood. You He's and not Jerry holding have the knife. a lot of fun during the last few days of summer. You brainstorm original themes for his next murders, buy knives and machetes online, and play lots of Scrabble. Apparently, Jerry loves Scrabble. What a lovable dork. This murder sure took a stab at your heart, didn't he? Aw. Yeah. Yay, we got the secret ending. Yep. Only got one, but that's okay. And we it's got some, something. some sun points, so we can attempt to buy new items later. Yeah. Dan wins. Dan wins. Well, Thanks, Bob. One thing is for sure, and that's that Colin did. Thank play. you, Han. Before we knew it, those freckles were freckled. Wait. I want Teddy Grams and sleep. Nick wants Minas, and Kyle wants Mountain Dew. And unfortunately, we have to nah. skip this outro because we don't want to get flagged by YouTube. Now, instead, we'll just hear Nick singing the Sonic the Hedgehog theme. We, we got unlocked. Oops, all Brian's. <gasps> that's such a best buds thing, though. That's it is. Oh. That's really funny, considering my character. Oops, all Brian's. Uh, yes, everybody in chat, there are still double digits. I would like all of you to thank Laura and tell her she did a great job. Yes, puppy. By the way. I wonder what that does. Well, maybe Ask we'll find Laura. out next time on Best Buds. Ooh, well done. Bye, everybody. Make sure Wait. you sub to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitch and follow the Twitter. Tell them you love Bye. them, too. No, we love you. It's true, we do. Ew, oh. love is gross. <laughs>